So in today's video, I thought I would share my super duper good peppermint hot chocolate recipe. And it's like the perfect Christmas drink. So what you will need is three candy canes, some milk, a measuring cup, a whisk, and some chocolate. And I prefer dark chocolate. So first of all, you're going to want to peel the plastic off your candy canes and then just peel it off. Um, so I'm going to do that to all of the three. Um, you don't need three candy canes, you only need two, but I am going to use one as decoration. So put those candy canes in a Ziploc bag because you're going to smash them into pieces and try to find like a cutting board or something like that so that you don't ruin the surface below. Um, so yeah, just take something heavy and just kind of smash them. I would recommend taking like a meat hammer or something like that because that's much easier but I couldn't find one so I just took the end of a super big knife. And then just measure up one cup of milk if you're making it this hot chocolate for one person. I'm just making it for myself so I'm gonna take one cup but if you're making it for more people just multiply it accordingly. And then once you put that into the pan you are gonna turn the oven on. And I would recommend taking like medium to medium high, medium low, I don't know, medium heat. Um, and then just whisk that to make it, like I don't know what happens but I just like to whisk it. Um, and then just put that chocolate in and continue to whisk your milk because like when I whisk my milk I feel like it gets a little bit more fluffy. Um, I'm not sure though but it just tastes good and I like to whisk things. So just whisk, whisk, whisk until that chocolate is melted and you have a nice and even color. When you are done with that whisking, you're going to take your candy cane pieces and you're just going to pour that in. And you're going to want to have kind of like medium high when you pour this in because they really have to melt. Um, because it is sugar so it's kind of hard for it to melt. But then just whisk that in and you will have some really good tasting hot chocolate. And then I like to take a little Christmas cup and just pour it in. And this was not the easiest to do, so as you can see I spilled a little. But then I just put my um, candy cane on the side and you can also use it as a little spoon. Instead of having an old boring spoon, you can just take that candy cane. And this is a delicious recipe, you guys. Like, you have to try it. It's so good if you like peppermint. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys soon.